How to add a countdown timer for the announcement bar in Shopify. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. I'll show you step by step how to do so. And let's just go ahead and get to the video. So first you will need to just go ahead and open up your Shopify admin. Uh, and then from here you would want to just go to add apps. Go to the app store and we are going to be looking for essential uh, countdown. So just go ahead and type in essential countdown. I have it right here. And you should find this one right here, which is Essential Countdown Timer Bar. So just go ahead and click on that and install it for free. Uh, it's just going to load in. And after that, we just want to confirm the installation process real quick. And we are pretty much ready to add our timer here. So let's just go ahead and show you how to do so. Uh, we are first going to click on Create a New Timer. And then we want to select this one if we want it to be in the announcement bar. Uh, so just go in and select top slash bottom bar. Uh, just uh, click on select this timer type. You would want to use, uh, give, give it a name. So let's just go ahead and name it uh, example. And then the title is going to be hurry up, hurry up sale uh, ends in. If you want to change that, feel free to do so. But this is actually going to be visible in here, as you can see. So we can just go ahead and change this to uh, test. I don't know. I'm, re I'm really bad with examples. And if you want to add some subheading, you can also do so in here. So just add some text. And then here, the call to action is a button, which is this one. But you can also make the entire thing clickable if you want. But I'm just going to leave the button. And, and you can also change the text in the button so you can just make it uh, or let's just do get it now. Yeah, OK, and then you would want to add the link to where this button leads. So if you have a product in this count, you can feel free to just change this to that product link. I'm just to I'm just going to have this lead to Google.com. And then we can also have the timer label. So this at the bottom, so whether it's going to be days, hours, minutes, seconds, you can type in the whole thing. For example, here we can just do hours instead. And you can see how this changed down here. Now here, the timer type is very important, whether you want it to be fixed minutes or count down to a date, which is the most used one. So just leave it at that. And then we can just scroll down, change this so that the timer starts now. If you want to change this, you would want to uh, have the uh, starter plan. And then you can just go ahead and select the end date. So let's just go ahead and select 20 uh, and just make it at 10 p.m., for example. And now we can just go ahead and click on continue to design. And we also have the, have the option to once it ends, we can just show custom title or do whatever we want. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then we can just continue to design here. You can just feel free to design it however you like. And then if we just go to uh, placement, you can also change a few things here. Uh, but I'm just going to skip all of this and click on publish. But you can just feel free to take your time with it and adjust it however you like. And now, however, however uh, we have edited the entire thing, we can just click on activate. And we just need to activate the application in order for it to show in our site. Uh, it's very easy and simple to do. Just click on activate. Make sure this is turned on on the left panel and just click on save. And now we are pretty much good to go. But what we actually need to do is just click on preview countdown and store. We can just go ahead and open up our store here and preview how it actually looks like. And you can see we have our timer ready to go. And if you just click on this, it's just going to take us to Google.com. Uh, which is obviously not going to work because it it must be a product in your store. It's, it was just an example, obviously. So this is pretty much how to add your countdown timer to your uh, announcement bar in your Shopify store. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.